Hello and welcome to Philosophy Vibe, the channel where we discuss and debate different philosophical ideas. Today is the third and final video on the philosophy of mind debate. Lovely. So a quick recap. In the last video we looked at the materialist approach to philosophy of mind. Materialism, unlike dualism, argues that the mind and body are not distinct but the same thing and mental states are nothing more than physical interactions. Correct. We looked at logical behaviorism, the idea that all mental states can be explained in terms of behavioral concepts. We also looked at identity theory, which argues that mental events are just in fact physical events, and the mind is a physical entity. The mind is the brain and nothing more. Mental states are just the physical chemicals of the brain. Yes. Now both these theories ran into their own problems. Correct. So now I would like to discuss another approach. The functionalist theory of mind. Now, unlike logical behaviorism, functionalism holds that mental states are internal states of thinking creatures and not just behavior. And unlike the identity theory, functionalism does not claim the mind and the brain are the same. Although both are physical, there is, in fact, a difference. What's the difference? Well, think of a computer. The mind is to the brain what a computer's software is to its hardware. I see. The mind then becomes the brain's program. In computers, the programs are not physical properties occupying space, although they have been created by such chemical or physical properties. So psychologically, for humans, the mind is not a physical or chemical property, even if it has resulted from such a property. Our mental talk then becomes functional or program talk. In essence, our mental states, our beliefs, desires, pains are nothing more than numerous sensory inputs and behavioral outputs. If we think of computers as physical devices with electronic substrates that perform computations on inputs to give outputs, then the brain is a physical device with neural substrates that performs computations on inputs which produces behaviours. Hmm. So this, I believe, is a great approach to philosophy of mind. This is still a materialist view of the mind, but it does not run into the same problems as logical behaviorism or identity theory. I understand, but I do not feel satisfied. Why not? You're reducing my consciousness to that of a computer. A computer is not really alive. I feel I am alive. I feel I am conscious. I am self-aware. I think a lot more happens in our minds than just sensory inputs and behavioural outputs. Functionalism is missing a key part. What's that? Understanding. What do you mean? Okay, here I would like to raise John Searle's Chinese room experiment. Very well. Searle asks us to imagine a person who only speaks English. This person is put in a room with nothing but a rule book and thousands of Chinese symbols. The room has a letterbox. Occasionally, a paper with a Chinese symbol would be posted through the door. The rule book instructs the person that when he receives a certain Chinese symbol through the door, he will respond with another Chinese symbol. Outside the room, we have Chinese speakers. They are in fact writing questions to the English speaker and putting them through the door. As the letters come in, the person in the room matches the symbol in the rule book and sends out another Chinese symbol. Okay. Now the Chinese speakers outside the room are inputting these Chinese symbols and getting outputs of Chinese symbols, and they're managing to have a perfect conversation that they fully understand. As far as they're aware, the person in the room is fluent in Chinese and is understanding everything. And just by looking at the inputs and outputs, we too would think the person in the room is fluent in Chinese but we know this person is not. He's just instructed to read the inputs and give the correct outputs. This person does not understand Chinese at all. I see. Cyril here has shown even though we see the correct inputs and outputs, there is no real understanding. This is exactly how a computer works. It is not thinking. It doesn't understand. It has programs running given the right outputs to certain inputs but it doesn't have mental states. 
The mind, however, is not like this. It does not work like a computer. The mind understands. Systems which operate merely on syntactic processes, so inputs and outputs, based on algorithms, cannot realize any meaning or intentionality. For the mind to be nothing more than a computer program would mean all our thoughts are just programmed outputs with no real mental states. Because of this, it doesn't seem like functionalism really explains the phenomenon of the mind. Yes, I understand. Exactly. Right, well that's all for the philosophy of mind debate. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the vibe. Please like, share and subscribe and help us grow this channel. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye bye.